describes the differences between killer whale size, physical form, prey, social structure, and habitat. As you can see, the differences are subtle, but noticeable when compared side by side. Orcas are adapted perfectly to their environments. And even the whale's black and coloration has a purpose. It camouflages the outline of their bodies in the water, making it easier for them to surprise and catch their prey. When viewed from above, the black of the whale blends in with the dark depths of the ocean. When viewed from below, the orca's white bellies match the brighter surface of the water, blending with the light above, giving them the perfect camouflage. Designed for 
getting a quick breath at the surface of the water. Even the location of their eyes works to their advantage. It looks like their eyes are located in this white patch, but this is a visual distraction. They're actually located in the black area in front of that white patch, camouflaged from thrashing prey. The fin on top of the whale's back is a dorsal fin, which helps stabilize orcas as they swim and can help regulate body temperature. Now, dorsal fins have no bones or muscles inside of them, which is sometimes why you see them curved. Now, this is unlike the pectoral flippers on either side of the body, which are used mainly for steering and stopping. Now, pectoral flippers have five bony digits inside of them, much like the human hand. The lobes on either side of the tail are called flukes. The tail flukes are the killer whale's engine, propelling them close to 30 miles an hour, which is as fast as some speedboats. But they swim the fastest and use the most power when propelling their nearly 10,000 pound bodies all the way up and out of the water. Killer whales are highly social animals with a well-defined social structure. An orca pod is always led by a female. Though just half the size of her male counterpart, she is in charge. It's all about attitude, not size. Because they live and work as a group, orcas need to communicate with sounds and body language. Orcas use clicks, for echolocation or navigation. Whistles to socialize in the pod. And calls for group coordination and hunting. development studies here at SeaWorld show that early on, calves learn vocalization from their mothers. But as they grow, they learn from others close to them as well. This is a bottlenose dolphin call that Shuka learned and even taught other killer whales here at SeaWorld. In fact, orcas are the largest members of the dolphin family. Whales here and in the wild use vocalization to communicate all the time. Like all animals, killer whales use body language as part of their communication. They use pectoral slaps at the surface to show dominance or to get noticed. For example, a mom might use a peck slap to get her calf's attention. they really want to be heard, they breathe. Sky hopping is how killer whales can coordinate and get a better view of their surroundings as they hunt.
Không có chơi ác à Killer whales work together to rear their young, protect their pond, and most importantly, pursue and catch their prey. Every day they cooperate to survive in the wild oceans of the world. The orca's hunting techniques are as varied as the whales themselves. Norwegian killer whales will circle herring, herding them together. The whales use sounds to coordinate with each other and to disorient the herring. With the fish confused and contained, the whales stun them with their powerful tail flukes, making for an easy meal. surround a sperm whale forming a perimeter while the females continue to drive the whale forward until it reaches exhaustion the calves then move in to join the adults in the group whatever their prey killer whales always cooperate and hunt together making them a highly successful predator Play is 
an important part of everyday life for killer whales. It's how they teach young whales to hunt and practice those skills as they grow. Workers spend lots of time interacting and showing off their playful side, both in the wild and right here at SeaWorld. Porpoising is when a whale swims fast at the surface, breaking out of the water briefly. and will rub their bellies on rocks when they can. We see our whales do this here, much like the whales in British Columbia. Take an active role in their own. 